Ghanaians have just completed their second training session ahead of the African Cup of Nations qualifier against Madagascar this weekend. Now, today was a different outlook and a different dimension for the team as they welcomed their deputy captain, Thomas Pate, who joined the camp earlier on Tuesday. The sad news is that Gideon Mensah leaves the camp due to injury, and as a result, 24 players gathered at the Accra Sports Stadium to train with the team. Uh, in terms of the training session, today's session was a bit more intense uh, as opposed to yesterday where they went further ahead and did a lot more ball work, shooting drills and then playing 10 v 10 as well. Well, the team has been together for the past 36 hours or so and are looking forward to the challenge ahead. They know what they're here for. They know what the challenge is. They know that at the end of this challenge is... is uh, is uh, AFCON 2024. This is the, the goal. So that's the starting position. My um, responsibility is just to reaffirm that with them, you know, to get them together as, as a group, to determine the, the tactics, to determine the team, and, um, and to encourage the spirit that, uh, that I always see there. Chris Hewton has had to dig deep. Uh, he would be without Gideon Mensah, Alexander Jiku, and then Inaki Williams, all three of them missing the game due to injury. Now, the coach says that he believes that he has a squad still capable of getting the result. No, I've, I've always been impressed with the, the level of commitment and quality that we have uh, in the training. And, um, you know, in most cases, it, it makes life a little bit more difficult for the coach because... As the head coach, I have to pick a team. And, um, and that can be part and parcel of it. It can be for what I already know, or it can be from, from something that I see in the training that's, that makes me think a little bit different. Joseph Peso, who had a fantastic season in Belgium, says that the mentality of the squad is right up there. Yeah, as you can see, we still have the belief. The belief is still there, the teamwork, you know, the, the commitment and everything. So. Even though they, they, they had a little bit ups and downs in their club, that doesn't really affect them in their national team. And, and with their mentality, they are really ready for it. And we always talk about it. And, you know, they are, they are full focus is on the game. And, uh, you know, the pass is the pass. And they are always focusing on the, on the game, which is against Madagascar. The Black Stars are expected to train again at the Accra Sports Stadium on Wednesday and Thursday before they fly out to Madagascar later on Thursday for the game on Sunday. A win for the Black Stars would see them secure qualification to the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. Ore Kwampofo from the Accra Sports Stadium for three sports.